Hey guys, welcome to another Droid Does video. I know it's been a, been a little bit since I've done anything. I had just something real quick I wanted to show you, kind of a follow up to the last tethering video I did, um, and let you know that just like devices like the Palm Pre, you can actually now tether your Droid devices wirelessly, uh, make it your own mobile hotspot basically, uh, just like the Palm Pre. Uh, now the only real catch to this is you do have to be rooted. Um, it, it, it only works for uh, for root users, and we're going to show you this real quick. Very easy to set up. You'll actually go into the Android Market, and you'll actually do a quick search for wireless. If I could type today, seriously, wireless. Tether, which you can see is already in my search history. And this first app right here, Wireless Tether for Root Users, if it focuses, that first app right there, that is the app you're going to want to download. As you can see, I've already downloaded it. Um, thus far, it's actually an app getting just under five stars. I'm actually going to give it my seal of approval. But um, you'll basically you'll download it just like you'll download any other app. Again, I stress you must be rooted for this to work. Um, and there's instructions all over the internet how to root your phone if you're running 2.1. Um, so basically, you'll open the app and you'll get this screen. Pretty simple user interface. Um, again, and this does connect to your phone via Wi-Fi, so you can create your own mobile hotspot if you don't have a USB cable handy or you're in an area where you just don't get Wi-Fi access and basically what you're gonna do is just tap this little icon um, now when the first time you set it up it'll probably ask for root permissions just like ROM manager does or any other good root app um, but it'll it'll show it's you know it started tethering you'll have a little Wi-Fi icon in your top on the top of your screen um, and you'll be in business from here what you're going to do um, is you're going to go to your computer and in this case you're going to go to your wireless controls be it you know your airport on your Mac or uh, win Windows Wireless Manager whatever you're going to click on that and you can see these are all the wireless networks that my phone is or my MacBook is finding you're going to actually go join another network and we're going to back it up and see here. Uh, you're going to click Show Networks. And basically, just get your computer to view all the wireless networks. And you're going to go through again. You can see there's a lot of AT&T customers in my area. And right here, the one you're looking for is Android Tether. I'm going to click Join. And the icon you'll get for your Wi Fi is that right there. It'll kind of look like the little Superman logo with a phone in it. And as you can see, Tweet Deck is blowing up. Um, and also now on your phone, you will get uh, wireless tether. You will get this little alert: wireless tether AC disabled. Um, when I first did this, I actually thought that meant for whatever reason you could not charge the phone. Um, I was wrong because you can charge the phone while you're tethering. So we're just going to move that off to the side. Um, but so you can do that because this does this is going to eat up a lot of battery so basically what we're gonna do here now is I'm gonna load up Safari and we're gonna pull up droidlife.com and let it do it let it do it do its thing and what we're doing there because I mean again it's not gonna be quite as fast as say you know your DSL connection but I'm gonna pull up Android Central as well and while it's doing that, I'm actually going to pull up my own uh, WordPress bl blog. So let's check it out. You can see Droid Life is loading, Android Central is trying to load, and Twitter is blowing up. But you know, you can see it's definitely loading. Um, again, is not going to be as fast as broadband, kind of just like PDA net, not going to be as super, 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 super fast. Um, but I mean, as you can see, there we go. Uh, you know, Joy Live boots up just fine. 
We can go down here, check that out. Android Central still booting up. I'm gonna try one more. We're gonna boot. Let's boot up. Try booting up Engadget here. So yeah, you can see Droid Life is still the first website that pops up. See, so, yeah, you can go through there and check everything out. Blog still loading. Android Central comes up finally. Let's close off some of these other backgrounds. So you can go through there, and you know, again, it just works just like any other tethering service. Definitely, you know, for for the price, it's it's a free app, um, and uh, it works. You know, it's definitely something that uh, that uh, that works very well. Um, again, speed is you know is obviously going to fluctuate that you have my blog um, you know and gadgets loading up um, so definitely everything loads up pretty nice uh, like I said it's not as is you know obviously not gonna be as quick as you know landline DSL or anything like that but it's gonna get the job done so if you're rooted and you're looking for a good alternative to PDA nets, definitely wireless tether is definitely a great way to go. When you actually want to disable it, you will actually just go right back into the application. And I mean it's it's pretty idiot proof. You'll actually just click on this to stop tethering. Simple, effective, and it works. So that's been, you know, that's been another Droid Does video, wireless tethering. Check it out. I, definitely, definitely is worth, you know, again, if you're rooted. It, it, it's actually the reason why I rerouted my Droid. So definitely check it out and enjoy.